really try to push yourself. Let's try to now jump a little bit into this motion. Now it's time to explore. Hello people, another video. In this one let's break down the basic forward arch. This pattern. Which I see as a stem cell to many other acrobatic movement patterns further down the road. If you want to learn forward cartwheels, reversaos, helicopteros, macacos and many moves like this, really having this one down is a great way to start the process. And in this video I'm not alone, but once again my partner Sara is behind the camera. You already know her from the Learn to Macaco and also Learn to Gumby the Arch Cartwheel video. If you don't know these ones yet, check them out. But now let's directly jump into the video. Wonder if there is something we did wrong. Right, so for this video we have the following agenda. We start with conditioning tasks, preparation tasks. It will be three of them to prepare the body to get the necessary strength and mobility. Which is also useful because sometimes when we practice these moves we are scared and one of the fears that we might have is injury and being weak in certain positions. So through these conditioning preparation tasks we already take care of that. And then afterwards we go into the technical breakdown of the move. And then thirdly and lastly for this video a couple of variations and possibly also some little sequences, some integrations with other moves. And I think it's going to be fun now. Yes. And then generally speaking the basic forward arch is very 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 approachable. We don't need to arch fully, we can take it super chill and then it's quite learnable, no? Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool, so let's jump in. Alright, the first preparation task, I like to call it the courageous knee cycle, which is great for the ankles, knees, general lower body, already preparing your wrists a little bit. So, I will start in a low squat, as low as possible. From there, I very slowly shift my knees towards the front. I can support myself with the tips of my fingers and slowly touching the floor in the front and bringing it back. Then I will stand up, straighten my legs as much as possible. If you can't do that yet, that's okay. I will load my wrists a little bit, wiggle around a little bit and once again I will squat down and repeat. Now, the next time maybe you don't need your fingers as support so you can just go towards the front open up your pelvis, arch a little bit backwards, retract and continue here. So for the next exercise you come into all fours, you lift your knees but keep them yeah, low, as low as possible. And here you can already try to really push yourself up, really push from your shoulders, so you can easily lift one head. Now, we focus on one foot and we try to draw half of a circle until we can spiral or come up here. We keep our shoulders in one line and we lift our arm up. And now you really try to push yourself up here and maybe even rotate a little bit from your shoulder and elbow and stay here for a few moments. Then you slowly come down, circle back and you go to the other side. And then you can decide where you want to look at. Depends on what you're preparing for. You can maybe look down or up or more to the front. Right, so the third and final preparation is a modified sissy squat, which is basically a squat where your knees would travel towards the front. Now, having strong knees and strong legs generally in this position is really a key for acrobatics. As in many acrobatic moves, you would land in this position or start in this position. Therefore, having strength here and stability and also the feeling of security 
is very helpful. Now, if you're new to this one, I would recommend starting with a little bit of a stair. So you don't need to go down as much, right? With time and practice, you can go lower and lower until you would go to the floor. And now, if you figure out a little stair like this is not enough, really take maybe a little chair or something even, so it's very reduced. But basically what you want to, would want to do, start in a kind of like shoulder width stance. You can vary later on and try different stances, but shoulder width is a good place to start. Now, like in the um, courageous knee cycle that we did on the floor, um, I want to maintain a nice arch through my body, um, noting that it's not just the lower back, but my whole body arches. And now I slowly try to go down preparing for a touchdown with my fingers on this object, the stair, floor, whatever it is. Maybe resting here for a moment, feeling the same shoulder opening like in the version that Sarah showed. And from here, I will push myself up, leading the motion with the hip upwards towards the sky. Then I would go towards the other side and repeat. If you feel like you're working on a stair and you can go a little bit lower, what you can simply do is bend your arm a little bit. So on the way down, I touch and I bend in order to go further. And now instead of pushing with my arm too much, I focus on pushing myself up with my legs. So already here, I have a way bigger range of motion in the legs, which comes in super handy for the basic forward arch. Different people will perform the forward arch differently. It will look very differently depending on your proportions, the length of your arms, the legs, everything, right? So for this video, it's quite good for you that both Sara and I will be showing um, the move so you can see slight differences. And in the end, it's really about figuring out where exactly you need to place your arms, where exactly you need to reach and land and all of this. This is the stuff that you can't learn from videos from teachers. This is the things that you need to figure out with practice. But enough of that. Let's directly jump in to the technical, the technical breakdown. Technical takedown. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the journey starts with the backwards jaguar. If you don't know it already from my videos, it's from a starting position, a step, hand place on the floor, and a little hop with a leg kick. Now in order to practice this one, you can simply start with a little kick. So starting, I will take my arms in order to generate momentum into a round step. My arms will go towards the floor and I will kick. Now in capoeira, you would call this one a mea lua kick, okay? Generating momentum with my arms, stepping, kicking. If you feel comfortable with this after a couple of repetitions of trying, do exactly the same thing, but ja jump and land on your leg, so you have a little hop as well. Generating, stepping, hop, and pushing. Right now, so with the preparation tasks and the backwards jaguar, we already have everything that we need in order now to go for the forward arching motion. Instead of directly taking it into a full arch, let's have it in a collapsed version first, which is also easier for the back. So if you deal with back, limitations, injuries or whatever, this next one is a great way to still practice the motion without going into this extreme arch, let's call it now. So we will start with a backwards jaguar. We will land and then we will slowly open the body up towards the front into a little squat. So I go. Now I will continue the reach. I will stay into in this bridge a little bit. Then I will squat down and I will stand up. Bridge, squatting down and standing up. If you go a little faster, if you link it more, it will feel very, very fluid. Now, 
Now on top of the forward arch that we practice now, let's add a little hop. Everything stays the same, but instead of coming out very slowly, let's try to now jump a little bit into this motion. So it looks something like this. From this monkey version, the jump version, let's slowly now try to open up the arch into the full basic forward arch motion. Now we already looked at two different pathways. One is a little lower and a little bit more circular, so this one. The other one is a little bit more straightforward, hopping over. Both of these you can now also try to open up a little bit more. Maybe you try both and see that one of them feels more comfortable, so you stay with it. But basically what we're aiming for now is that we do the move, we land, but we stay arched all the way. Then in the arch we hold the position for maybe two seconds and now we try to get up like the sissy squat that we did before in the preparation task. So the circular pathway would be this one. And the straightforward pathway, the hopped one, would be this one. If you can hold the position, you can also then try to figure out if you can directly use the momentum to get up into standing. So you already have the full move from start all the way to the end. Right, basically this is all that you need to know for the basic forward arch, at least in its first and baby steps. Is there anything from the top of your head that you want to share regarding the process of learning this one? Mm, try to land soft. Imagine you're a cat and you're like bouncing on the floor. Let's try to embrace the inner cat. If you like this move, if you like the acrobatic approach, if you like playing with acrobatics in your body like this and you wish to learn further movements, maybe something like this one, something like this one, then I encourage you to check out my Finding Flow online programs. There's currently three of them. The Finding Flow Basics, perfect for beginners. If you are completely new to this world, dive into the beginner, the basics online course and check it out. Then I have an intermediate one, the Finding Flow Integrations, where we already learn a little bit more interesting contexts, scenarios, moves, ideas. And then the third one, the Acrobatics Lab. My most recent online program, it's a big one, filled with video tutorials, everything you need for at least six months of practice and study. Now all of these programs, they come in with very detailed videos, practice structure, so everything that you need for your own practice and you can check them out on www.neilteisner.shop and if you use the code YouTube10 at the checkout process you get even a 10% discount for the online program. So if you want to learn all of that in much more detail check them out and see you there. All right, now it's time to explore. What you saw in the beginning of the video was Neil likes to call them stem cells or one of his stem cell. And now we will dive into the exploration. Okay, we both like to see, okay, what feels good today? What shapes can my legs do? What, how different is it when I just do it with one arm maybe? Let's see, let's figure it out and have fun. Okay, so one of the variations I really like is we go into the backwards jaguar, we go down, we roll into the floor, and we come up on the other side. The other variation will be a bit similar, but with an arched back. A 
very cool but still quite basic sequence that I like to do is go from a little macaco into a forward arch. If you can't do the macaco yet, check the video out where Sara and I break down the macaco and you can learn it there. But then for the sequence we will start in a little squat. We will go for the tiniest macaco that we can do and then we go for a forward arch. But the forward arch needs to happen in the same direction of momentum. So for example I go the macaco on my left side. I will continue now on my right side with the forward arch. So it's a whole circle. And then with practice you can of course go for a very high macaco and a fully arched forward arch, but this is up to you. Okay, well, that's it for another video. Sara, thank you so much for joining once more. Well, we hope you really enjoyed this one and you could follow us in the breakdown. Now, if you want to see more breakdowns like this, simply write a comment and let us know if you want to see something like this. Um, once again, if you didn't know, I really tried to to push the YouTube game this year much more with weekly videos about all topics from collaborations to move breakdowns, more philosophical things, more practice related things. So definitely let us know if you need to see something and also hit the subscribe button to not um, yeah, miss the next video. Now once again reminding you of all of the, uh, the online programs, you can find everything in the link in the description. Also for Sarah's profiles and website you can find everything. Sarah is doing also an amazing job um, uploading great content and also teaching workshops, uh, teaching in-person training. So if you would like to learn a little bit more from Sarah you can also do that of course. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. You will find everything in the video description. Anything you want to say? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. Have a nice day. See you soon. Tiempo es silencio